This was totally generated in Midjourney. Okay, so I'll show you how I create this stuff and how I can composite myself into it in live, right? So you see the monkey head here? None of this is edited. This is all live and I'm able to turn these guys on and off as necessary, right? And do this stuff live. Um, another fun thing, my lemonade stand. This is my latest. I generated this this morning. It's got multiple layers to it. If you want to check it out, let's get rid of the graffiti. Let's get rid of the overlay. Let's get rid of the clean version. Okay. So right here, we've got, get rid of, got a mist overlay here and I got a camera here. So I started with this image in mid journey. I asked it for a lemonade stand. So then I took it into Photoshop. First of all, we can pop up version where I used Photoshop's content aware deletion to remove some of these things and uh, uses AI again to generate a background. So I've got my lemonade stand. I've got my clean version that I put on top. I like having multiple layers so I could repurpose this and I could add more stuff. So I've got a series of overlays. I created some graphics. So I used the Photoshop to create the, the banner and give it that little ripple on the, on the words. And then for the final touch, I took some free graffiti, al kind of alien looking graffiti assets. Let's slip me out of here. Pop me where I belong right back in here. Uh, you notice my video is a little bright here. It kind of doesn't fit in. So I'll, again, I'm going to use that mist overlay in front of my camera, but behind these sets. And you tell me if that looks a little better or not. Back into Photoshop and see, kind of see what I did here. Okay. And I've got my original background mid journey layer. Sometimes I'll use a picture as a stand in for myself. So I might use my good pal Alf. I wanted a clean layer first. Now you can export each of these individually. So if I turn off the visibility here and I just want to export the mask, I'm going to go to file, quick export as PNG, and you start adding stuff. So I added oh, the lemonade banner, all the filters on it to sort of warp it and distort its perspective. Did the same thing for this suck it and I added a mask, roughly masked out a few areas to sort of make it look faded. I took this logo that was generated in um, mid journey. I added these on again, did a little bit of fade outs just so it didn't look so super clean. And I did the same thing with this whole layer of graffiti, repositioned individual elements so I can composite and give it that sort of layered on top of graffiti look. Gives it a little more realism, I think. Bring down the saturation a little bit, make it look a little bit more ah, like so. You don't need to have individual layers. You can merge these layers, but man, I really, really love having this stuff in individual layers just so I can do stuff like that. The only part of the background, the original image that is even showing here is this behind me. Let's go into mid journey. So I'll take a look at my prompting process, right? So first I tried to create a lemonade stand with no people. And here's a little trick. If you haven't done much mid journey, use this minus minus AR three to two. This changes the aspect ratio to a three to two aspect ratio, a little more rectangular. I had these four options. I created some versions of the first one because I thought that's the look and the angle I want to try for. It created four different versions. We're going to do some cleaning up. So I just sort of took the one that had the angle and the props that I sort of wanted. Took that, did an upscale, brought that into Photoshop and stretched it, right? Then just make a copy of the layer, pop it on top, create a mask that masks out the areas you want. Finally, export your layers. I like to put them all into a folder and I added layers for the mascot and the clean plate and the, everything. You can do as little or as much as this as you want. Maybe I could, I need an, a mascot. So let me generate some mascots. Finally decided to change my prompt to be a cartoon lemon and ended up with this guy back into Photoshop. So I took the mascot. I applied some um, perspective to it to look like, kind of look like it's on that plane. Went into masking, faded some spots. And I'm not here to do a Photoshop tutorial. One last trick, pop open uh, Blender. I'll do this control panel, a real simple example. Mission control, let's hide the control panel and hide the mist. Okay, the last thing I want to show is how do we make stuff spin around us? Go over to the old Discord and we'll just try one from scratch. We're going to say, imagine minus minus aspect ratio three to two. That's the only one. There's, there's that or the standard available right now. You can't do 16 by nine. Not yet anyway. How about a sci-fi deli, deli counter? Deli counter with no people. It's helpful to add that to the prompt if you're looking to just generate a clean plate. I think we'll probably go a little bit easier today. I think number three, get variations on three. It's done. So we'll look at that. 
That looks pretty good. Save that. Back into Photoshop. Drag this in. Okay, it doesn't quite fit. We're going to shift drag it like this. I'm going to use the, the brush here. Try to clear out what it thinks is the background. And god damn, that's pretty good. God damn, that is pretty darn good. And it really doesn't matter if you take too much, right? Because, um, oops, that's going to make it a little crazy. Um, because we want to be able to move back into here, into this area. I want to option click to bring some of this foreground stuff back. Do some of that stuff back there. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. I think this is going to work pretty, pretty good for what we've got planned. Obviously, this is going to be the camera area. Get a little proxy for myself. I like to use Alf. Throw Alf in here. Throw him in between. Shrink him down. Hey, Willie! This is our clean background. So let's export this. Export. Quick export as PNG. I will turn off that background. Export again. Call this Delhi Mask. Let's go into OBS. Create a, a new scene. We'll call this scene Delhi. Here we go. Delhi background. Now let's take the Delhi mask and drop it right on top. Now we need a camera. Great. Let's put that in between the mask. All right. That's not quite right. Shrink her down. Scale is not quite right. You mess is where you mess around until you get it right. Probably something more like something like this makes more sense. Ooh, oh, love it. Guys, I showed you in just that amount of time how we generated this entire background. Photoshop masked out some stuff, composited myself. We could also now go back in with Photoshop. We could add all kinds of things like we did to our lemonade stand. We could add, go into Blender and add some 3D layers and groups. There's just so much that you can do. I really love working on this kind of junk. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I love learning new software, sharing it. So I'm gonna get out of here and I'm just gonna leave you with uh, one thought. See you next time.